Self-care has gained significant attention as a means to prioritize our mental and emotional well-being. Self-care is rooted in the idea of taking time for oneself, engaging in activities that promote relaxation and nurturing our overall health. While self-care can be a valuable tool in maintaining mental wellness, it is crucial to recognize that not all self-care trends are created equal. Because self-care is a deeply personal journey and what works for one person may not work for another, it's essential to approach it with a critical eye to ensure that your self-care practices align with your values and contribute positively to your mental health and overall well-being. With that said, let's explore some self-care trends that despite their popularity can actually have detrimental effects on your mental health according to experts. Toxic Positivity According to psychologist Dr. Rachel Goldman, promoting too much positivity can become toxic when it shames and guilts us for our authentic human emotions and struggles in favor of maintaining a positive mindset at all times. While optimism can be helpful, suppressing or invalidating genuine feelings can be harmful to our mental health. True self-care involves acknowledging and accepting the full range of our emotions, rather than denying or masking them, says Dr. Goldman. Self-indulgence Some self-care trends advocate indulging in excessive self-centeredness as a means of prioritizing oneself. An article published by Thoughtful Counseling Services emphasizes that it's important to distinguish between self-care and self-indulgence and to strike a healthy balance between the two. Excessively focusing on one's own desires can actually hinder personal growth by making us more self-centered, less disciplined, hedonistic, and discontented, all of which are ultimately detrimental to our mental health. Bed rotting. With the rise of social media and streaming platforms, a self-care trend known as bed rotting has emerged. Bed rotting refers to spending excessive amounts of time in bed, often ignoring responsibilities and daily activities in favor of prolonged periods of relaxation or entertainment. Psychologist Dr. Audrey Tang explains that extended periods of bed rotting can lead to decreased motivation, productivity, and a feeling of stagnation. So it's important to strike a balance between rest and engaging in activities that contribute to personal growth, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. Dopamine Detox Another recent self-care trend is the dopamine detox, which involves deliberately abstaining from pleasurable activities such as socializing, hobbies, or using electronic devices in an attempt to reset the brain's reward system. Supporters of this trend claim that by depriving oneself of enjoyable experiences, the brain will become more sensitive to pleasure, resulting in a greater sense of fulfillment. But this approach can be counterproductive and potentially harmful to mental health when done excessively or incorrectly. One psychiatrist Dr. Ifeni Olele, as withdrawal often leads to feelings of loneliness, boredom, and a deterioration of mental well-being. So instead of completely avoiding pleasurable activities, it's important to find a healthy balance that allows for enjoyment through beneficial alternatives, such as exercise and meditation. Over-reliance on self-help. According to an article published by mentalhelp.net, an excessive consumption of self-help content can lead to information overload, unrealistic expectations, and an obsession with constantly fixing oneself. Self-care trends that rely heavily on purchasing material possessions or indulging in lavish experiences can also create a false, temporary sense of well-being. So, it's essential to prioritize practices that encourage self-reflection, self-compassion, and self-acceptance, rather than relying solely on external remedies. It's crucial to approach self-care practices critically and consider their potential impact on mental health. Because while some trends may initially seem appealing or promise quick fixes, embracing a mind mindful and personalized self-care routine that resonates with your true self is key to nurturing our mental health in a meaningful and sustainable way. As you reflect on your self-care journey, ask yourself, are the self-care practices I engage in truly nurturing my mental health and promoting personal growth? Or are they simply following fleeting and potentially harmful trends? How can I tailor my self-care routine to be more authentic, sustainable, and aligned with my unique needs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please support our work by hitting like and subscribing to our channel. Till next time, Psych2Goers.